mini egg shortbread recipe. Oh my goodness, slightly indulgent with all those chocolate chips and mini eggs and all that butter. But hey, I'm all here for it. And it's super simple to make too. What you're going to need is a baking tin. Mine is eight inches by eight inches. I've just lined it. And I've also got my oven preheating to 170 degrees centigrade fan. In a mixer, place 230 grams of soft butter and 120 grams of caster sugar and one teaspoon of vanilla extract and you're going to mix that up until it's light, white and fluffy. This takes around about three to four minutes. Then you're going to add in 340 grams of plain flour. Now it can sort of stick to the sides a bit, don't worry, just get your spatula in and give it a bit of a hand. Um, but then you want to just sort of mix it up again until it's sort of starting to come together. Add in 100 grams of those chocolate chips, I'm using dark ones, and just mix it until you start to see that it's starting to come together like cookie dough. And yes, I did have a bit and it is delicious. Um, but then what you're going to do is turn it out into your baking tin, press it down and just sort of make sure you've got it all into the corners there. I also use my coffee tamperer quite a useful little gadget this just to help press it down and then it's in the oven for around about 40 minutes now we're not putting the mini eggs into the oven because I've done a test for you just for you this is what happens they crack and they also go an ugly color so what you're gonna do is you're gonna wait until that dough is cooked and then just plop them in the top it's so soft they just go in then you want to just let it cool for a few more moments before you slice into it and then let it cool further so that they firm up. Now, you don't have to have these just at Easter time. I know mini eggs themselves are rather seasonal, but you could just have these as milk choc chip shortbread. They are absolutely delicious. Anyway, if you want the full written recipe, you know where to go by now. It's my website, cookingwithemily.co.uk.